Have you registered already, sir? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay, you go, you go to 12, the last table on the left, okay? This sheltered department store at Dulles Town Center has never been busier. 10, 11, 12. Well, see, shoes was over on the other side. Every day, some 4,000 Loudoun County residents stroll in and roll in. I'm good, how are you doing? And the numbers keep climbing, not to purchase a chic handbag or sample the latest scent. We're in makeup, aren't we? Yeah, this is perfume, yeah. But for protection against our greatest fear of this last year. This is where shots get in arms as soon as we have vaccine to put there. Number nine, straight ahead and to the right, please. County leaders hit pay dirt several weeks ago, securing prime real estate to accommodate soaring demand. It's very convenient for folks. There's lots of parking. They transformed an old Nordstrom into a massive two-story vaccine clinic. This site just passed a milestone of 100,000 vaccinations. Let's go to the other arm. Amy Reich is grateful she's now fully vaccinated. Relief, a lot of relief. Yeah, this is good. And these folks are heroes. I mean, they're volunteering their time and coming here and making sure that we're all safe. This is terrific. We need more vaccine too, Heather, when you have a second. To move this much product from syringe to skin. I'm drawing up the Pfizer vaccine. Um, into a 1cc syringe. The county called in the Medical Reserve Corps. I mean, it's obviously a lot of work. The MRC launched after 9-11, pre-screens and puts to work volunteers like retired critical care nurse Gwen Pangle. It's very gratifying and it's an incredible responsibility, I think. You know, it's, um, it sort of goes to the heart of, of who we all are trying to help uh, and be a part of the greater good. Then I'm gonna move you right over here to number three. Okay. Then there's Gail Groy and her husband, retired dentist, Dr. Dave Groy. Everyone keeps saying to me, well, you could work at the airport. They're working traffic control. Oh, I'm sorry, if you'll come right here, sir. Which means trying to get people at the right spot at the right time. To make sure folks like Jacqueline Rivera get in and out quickly. I think the volunteers here should be given a standing ovation on a regular basis. Thank you. Right. Yes, ma'am. Emotions run the gamut here from fear and relief to the realization that thanks to the time and care of our neighbors, we could not do any of this without the community support. We are finding the very places and the very people we need to endure. None of us ever expected this. It was not what you know we were planning for, but we all stood up and we all responded to it. And we're all working really hard to get us through this. I'm Jay Corp for 7 News.